August 26, 2009. A day that will be remembered as the day of victory for the College of Computer Studies. A day when 27 young men and women took the challenge to compete as a team and bring the college amongst the halls of champions. The Silliman University College of Computer Studies made their first win in the cheerleading competition. And even more, the CCS Sirens won first place. The Sirens claim they never aimed for the championship, but rather only wanted to entertain the crowd. More so, funny as it may seem, many of the cheerleaders' interest for joining the team was mainly to avoid college fines. Four hours of daily practice, sprained ankles, bruised bodies, and muscle cramps, were only the least of the problems the Sirens faced during the competition. They had to balance their academic life and practices all together. Conflicts were not uncommon. There were a few changes in the lineup of members, as well as a number of practice issues. But the Sirens grew strong. Being the underdog, it was a challenge for them to put the pressure on the reigning team. No matter how tough things came for them, they came through. And so our story begins. Practice was never easy. And oftentimes quite disappointing. It is difficult to squeeze four hours of daily practice into an already busy schedule. But fun was never out of every practice. The laughter of teammates and friends were always a boost to their morale. From tosses, to jumps, to backflips, to pyramids and dance routines. Mistakes were never out of the question. Whether it be out on the open air, or under the heat of the sun. Practices pushed through day after day. Friendships were formed and strangers became friends. From one simple gesture to a friendly hello, the team slowly bonded into one big family. Through highs and lows, the team slowly settled their differences and came to agree on one thing, teamwork. The Sirens are led by their coaches, Gerard and Aboy. These two individuals have literally turned the face of cheerleading for CCS. Their unique style of coaching has made a team of committed as well as bonded cheerleaders. And the team was never the same again. They coached with a good mix of discipline and understanding. They were not too uptight nor were they too lenient. They pushed the boundaries of the team and took them to the next level. They have proved that through patience and perseverance, they can make champions. The coaches always made it a point that cheerleading can always be fun and exciting. They made it so that they were as much as friends as they were their coaches. The cheerleaders were always encouraged to speak out and share their ideas. Doors were never closed, and the cheerleaders were as much as involved as the coaches. This close interpersonal relationship was the key to the team's success 